This is the all new Chroma from Horizon Hobby. In this video, you will learn how to do the accelerometer calibration of your Chroma using a DX6i radio from Spectrum. As long as you've set up your Spectrum DX6i per the manufacturer guidelines that we have on our website, all you'll need to do is make sure your flap switch is in the zero position and cycle the flight mode switch four times. You will hear a tone emitted from the chroma and you will see purple LEDs blink below the chroma. This process takes anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds and it's important that the chroma remains on a flat and level surface and is not touched during the process. Once the accelerometer calibration completes successfully, you will hear this tone and the chroma will reboot. You have now completed the accelerometer calibration using your DX6i radio. To enter compass calibration while using your DX6i radio, place the flap switch into the 1 position and then cycle the flight mode switch 4 times. You will see that the chroma emits a tone and the lights on the chroma blink yellow. You can now start the compass calibration procedure. You will notice the front two motor pods begin to blink yellow. Face those motors to the north and rotate the chroma around that axis slowly. Then you'll notice the chroma begins to blink the front right motor only yellow. Place that motor to the north and rotate the chroma around that axis. In a moment you'll see that the front right and the back right motor pods begin to blink yellow. You'll face those to the north and rotate the chroma around that axis. Finally, the chroma will begin to blink the back right motor pod alone. You'll face that to the north rotate the chroma around that axis, and then place the chroma back on the ground. It's important that you do this procedure away from any metal objects or asphalt that has rebar in it, such as a parking lot. 